My name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be testing out the Elf Earth and Ocean palette. Looks very me with the greens and the blues. With a couple browns I'll deal with, right? I'm actually going to start with swatches today because I don't really know what I want to do. There's a lot going on, a lot that's very pretty. So I'm going to start with trenches, which looks like a satin black. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, next is Underwater, which looks like a, ooh, a dark um, uh, teal, I guess, with like a little bit of like jungle hunter green in it. Guys, this looks good. Next is Can't Kelp It, which is a matte, uh, really dark olive green. And I did swatch this one already, if you watched my previous video, when I was comparing these to uh, the new e.l.f. bite-sized palettes. Next is Desert Storm, which is like a... It's a brown, but I feel like it has a little bit of a um, green honey tone to it. My fingers are stained, hopefully that won't affect the colors. Next is Sahara, which is the light shimmery green. That one I swatched uh, in my last video as well. And I also swatched Spruced Up, which is this matte olive color. These look really promising. Next is Abyss which is a matte uh, dark blue, navy. Then we have Drip Drip, which looks like a shimmery blue. Maybe a little more on the satin side. Yeah, compared to uh, some of the other colors. Next is going to be Lagoon, which looks like a glittery turquoise. The reason I'm not so excited is because I wonder can you use it alone or is it just a topper or do you have to use glitter glue? But otherwise I would be very excited. Next is Rock Bottom which is a... oh okay. More like a, a taupe I guess. I feel like uh, they look darker in the pan than they're actually coming out, at least some of them. Next is Gold Rush, which is the true metallic gold. And then Sun Yourself, which is like a light yellow. Ooh, those look so nice. I'm gonna switch to my other arm now, starting with Siren, which is this one here. It's like a metallic gray purple. See, I thought this would help, <laughs> but there's just too many nice things in here. Next is Oasis, which is a pale um, eh, periwinkle, I guess, matte. Next is Salt Water which looks like my perfect blue eyeshadow. Yeah, like that light powder blue shimmer kind of color. Next is Tundra. So it's, it's a glitter, I guess. A glitter or a topper in like silver. Yeah. Maybe I've been watching uh, Angeshka too much, but I'm not a big fan of pressed glitters in palettes either. <laughs> uh, next is Fuji Feels. Okay. And that's like a, a cool tone shimmery brown. Nice. I mean, you know, not my go-to color, but quality looks good. And last but not least, I think you say that Mojave Mommy 
and it's a neutral brown I would say looks kind of satiny I'm not as neutral I don't know some of them aren't swatching great others are so far it looks very promising all right literally everything looks good I think I'm actually gonna go for a warm neutral look today I'm going to start with this fluffy brush here and I'm gonna go into desert storm which is that one so like that dark uh, well we'll see how dark it really is like a honey shade there's no setting shade in this palette which I'm a little upset about but that's okay looks like everything else is really special I'm just gonna use this as my transition and just so you know I have primer on this eye and not on the other eye I forgot to do that in my last video just so we can see the difference if there is one I feel like so far it applied better on the non-primer eye next I'm going to take my BH cosmetics brush with a three on it I'm gonna continue with that shade and just see if I can get it a little darker and deeper in the crease I like that uh, definitely different for me but I like it I'm just gonna try and blend this out a little more up here with a clean fluffy brush There's also a uh, no brow bone highlight shade in here, which I would have liked as well, but like I said, there's a lot of good eyeshadow choices in here otherwise. Maybe I'll take some of Can't Kelp It now on my IVY crease brush, which is the really dark olive, and put that in my crease. Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I think I'm going to use Fuji Feels on my outer third of my lid. Have you guys ever seen me do such a neutral look? But don't worry, I'm doing at least three looks with this palette. So, I will be back to my usual colorful self in the next one. Then I'm going to take Gold Rush, which is the metallic gold. Yeah, so uh, if anyone saw my last video, this applies at least as good as the gold in the uh, Hot Jalapeno palette. Next I'm going in with Sun Yourself, which is the light shimmery yellow. And that's going on the inner corner. Oh, the inner third, I guess. That one doesn't seem to be quite as impressive, but it might be because now it's like trying to compete with the gold. And it's pretty hard to compete with a good gold. And you know what, I think because I can't help myself, I think I'll play with a little bit of the green on the lower lash line. So I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it. I think I'll start with Spruced Up, which is the matte, brighter olive green. I'm going to start by putting that on the, maybe the outer two-thirds of my lower lash line. Look at me doing something different for once, instead of just mimicking what I have on the lid. And then I'm going to use Sahara, which is the shimmery green, and put that on the inner third of my lower lash line. Well, maybe the inner half. That applied really well with a brush. I like it. So I'm going to try and put Sun Yourself as my brow bone highlight. That may be a mistake. We'll see. 
and I'm going to use uh, my dollar store brush to do that. I have used a pale yellow as a brow bone highlight before. It was, I mean, it's an acquired taste, I guess, but I don't think it's bad. And you know what, I'll also put it on the inner corner. This is my BH Cosmetics brush with a 6 on it. It's really little. I'm just going to pick a little up and stick it in there. Not bad. Actually, that's pretty good. So far, I'm very impressed. It makes the bite-sized palettes that I tried, they really don't stand up to this. Guys, I really hope this holds up well because I really, really like it. Alright, so today I think I'm going to play with some of the blues. I'm going to start with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 3 on it. And I'm going to go into Drip Drip, which is a shimmer metallic. More of a shimmer, I guess. I want to see if I can use it in the crease. So this is going to be my transition. Mm, nope, that is proving to be a bad idea. But we're going to keep going. While I do this, I'm just going to let you know that yesterday's look, it wore in an interesting matter. I mean, for the most part, it was fine, but I felt like the mattes disappeared. And not because the mattes disappeared on their own. The mattes were fine. They were still in there, but the shimmers had kind of like spread all the way up almost over them. Which, I mean, I have hooded eyes, so like that happens sometimes, but usually not to the degree that I saw yesterday. It still looked good at the end of the day, like it's not like I would be upset if I had to take pictures like that or something, but it's something that happened. And of course the mats were nice, I mean they're part of the look, so you don't want them to be hidden. So, in my experience, the shimmers moved around, even though it still looked good by the end of the day. Also, today, just so you know, I have primer on both eyes. I'm not going to be testing that out anymore because uh, both eyes pretty much wore the same yesterday. Alright, so at first I thought this was a bad idea, but it's fine now. Just needed some blending. Next I'm taking my IBY crease brush and I'm going into Abyss, which is the matte navy. A lot came up. I don't know if you can see it, so I'm going to tap some of that off. Yeah, okay. This is going deeper into my crease. And it's very pigmented. Okay, that's good. Next, I'm taking Drip Drip again. But this time, I'm going to put it on the outer third of my lid. Okay, not bad. It's having some trouble getting off my finger. I had a feeling that would happen just based on the way it looked. But it's still appearing well on my lid. So I don't know how that's possible. But here we are. It's a little messy though so I'm gonna have to clean that up after. Now I'm gonna try the Lagoon shade. I want to see what it does. Does it need a glitter glue? I think it's going to need a glitter glue. Let's see. I'm going to try to put this on the inner two thirds. Alright, not terrible. Okay, so we're getting some sparkly fallout. It's very pretty. But uh, probably better with a glitter glue. So, note to self and to you guys for next time. Let's 
going to put a little bit more down here. All right, hopefully I'm not going to get a copyright strike for my dad playing music in the background. Uh, I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it now. Looks like that. And I'm going to go into, I think I'm going to go into Drip Drip. And maybe put that on the, I don't know where I want to put it. Do I want to go all the way across? Maybe outer two-thirds. And now I'm going to take Lagoon, see how that picks up. Not well, which I'm not surprised at. I'm going to see if I can apply that with my finger instead. Look at all the glittery fallout. Alright, um, I like it. That turquoise is definitely an interesting but pretty texture. I'm hoping it will wear well, but if it doesn't, it could be partially my fault because there's no glitter glue. Okay, so today I'm going to play with these colors down here, and I may or may not add some others in. We'll see. So I'm going to start with this fluffy brush and go into Oasis. And hopefully that will apply better than the similar shade in the Acai U palette. So far, no, but I'm also using a fluffy brush, so I will go in with something denser. Alright, I guess it is better so far. Next, I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 3 on it. And same color. I'm just going to try and build that up. By the way, yesterday's look wore pretty well throughout the day. The glittery shade had spread a little bit, like, to here. But, like I said, I'm not going to judge that because I think that needs a glitter glue. So while I clean up with a cleaned off fluffy brush, um, this shade is definitely better than the one in the Acai U palette. Um, still not where I want it to be, but that's alright. It's, it's, it's okay. Next I'm taking my IBY crease brush and I'm going to see if I can use that with Siren. I know that's pretty metallic. I'm going to put it in my crease, or attempt to. It's not working out the best. But this is also not what the shadow is for. Next I'm going to use that same color, but this time on my pinky. And I think I'm going to use that on the outer half of my lid. I would say it's about the same as the one from the SAU palette. Maybe a little more pigmented and easier to work with, but about the same. Then I'm going to take salt water and put that, oops, maybe too much. I'm going to put that on the inner half of the lid. What do you guys think? I feel like it's a little chunky. But I also kind of put too much. I wonder if this one would be better with a glitter glue as well. Next I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it. And I'm just going to mimic what I have going on in the lid. So I'm starting with Siren. And I'm using that on the outer 
half of the lower lash line. And then I'm taking salt water on the same brush and just putting that on the inner half of the lower lash line. Okay, so this is how it looks with mascara. That blue shade is just, I don't know, I don't know if you can see now that you got a good view of my nose, but it's a little chunky. So we'll have to see how this wears. All right, guys, today I'm going to go for a dark, smoky, teal kind of look. So I think I'm going to start with my fluffy brush here with Can't Kelp It. So I want a little bit of a green brown, I think, to start it off. So that's going to be my transition shade. So by the way, yesterday's look, I think, probably wore the best out of all of them so far. Uh, it wore fairly well throughout the day. And it did fade a little bit, but honestly, I think that worked in its favor. Because remember the chunkiness of the blue shade that I was talking about? Um, that went away, and I think that's why it kind of sheared itself out. Not that it was sheer, but the chunkiness, like, smoothed out. Know what I mean? Just shake your head and say, yes, Jessica, I know what you mean. And I'm going to clean that off a little bit just to blend that out a little more. Next, I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush with a 3 on it, and I'm going to go into Trenches, which is the satin black. I think it will be okay in the crease. We'll see. I think I tapped too much off. Okay, that's working. That looks good. I'm gonna go in with my IBY crease brush just to see if I can get it a little deeper. Just like right in there, like not in the whole crease. I like it. Then I'm going to take trenches and put it on the outer corner of my lid. I'm actually going to go for a halo eye today. So next I'm putting it on the innermost part here. I've just been trying to like try some different things lately. What do you guys like better? Do you like when I do my usual stuff, or do you like when I try something new? Don't answer all at once. I feel like this is the kind of black eyeshadow that I could, as Soph says, get on with. Because it can be used in the crease and on the lid, and I feel like it's not too overpowering, and it's not unblendable at all. So next I'm taking Underwater, which is the teal shade. Look at that. And I'm going to put that here. <laughs> Just going to blend it in a little bit. And here. I'm going to leave a tiny space open because I want to try Tundra in that space. Don't know if that's going to be a good idea. It's very pretty but a little chunky, well, a lot chunky, and a little uneven, but I'm not going to judge it because this probably needs a glitter glue. But I just want to see what it does without it. I'm really liking the whole look that I have going on today. Got this shiny little pop with some teal and black and green. And then I got this nice new blush from the Balm, the Hot Mama blush. I like the glossy lip. 
I'm feeling it. So for the rest, I'm just going to mimic what I have going on on the lid. So I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it, taking trenches on the outer parts of my lower lash line. Uh, it's a little messy. Probably should have used a different brush. Hope I don't ruin this look. Then the teal called Underwater. And then I'm going to use Tundra on my pinky because I don't trust it with a brush. That's pretty. Guys, I really, really, really like this look. My favorite so far, by far. So glad I tried something a little different. All right, guys, today is going to be the final look. There's only two shades left in the palette that I have not used yet, so that's what I'm gonna use today. I'm going to use Mojave Mami, and I'm going to use Rock Bottom. I'm going to start with this fluffy brush here, and go into Mojave Mami, which is a satin, but I'm going to use it in my crease. This is going to be probably the most simple, wearable, everyday, neutral look I've ever done. And just so you know, yesterday's look wore pretty well throughout the day. The glitter did move around some, not as much as I thought it would. Um, but again, I'm not going to judge that because I didn't have a glitter glue on. And then I'm going to clean off the fluffy brush and just try to blend that out a little more. So I can see why um, there's no setting shade in here. You really don't need one. Um, I still prefer one just because sometimes I suck at blending, <laughs> but you really don't need it. Next I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 3 on it. Same shade, Mojave Mami, and I'm just going to build it up more in my crease. Okay, taking the same shade yet again, this time on my pinky, and I'm going to put that on the outer third of my lid. I feel like this one comes out a lot lighter than expected, so I guess this is the palette's transition shade. And then I'm going to take Rock Bottom, which is the taupe, and put that on the inner two-thirds of my lid. That's pretty. And just kind of blend it out a little bit into the brown. Look how neutral this is. Next I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it and I'm going to take Mojave Mami again and that's gonna go on the outer third of my lower lash line and I'll take Rock Bottom and put it on the inner two-thirds. I don't like it. <laughs> I feel like I need more depth. Maybe because it's so neutral. Alright, maybe I'll put a little bit of Desert Storm and Can't Kelp It mixed together. These two. Let's see if I can just... crease a little bit and then a little bit on my pinky and put it on the outer third better I'm just taking my BH Cosmetics brush with A3 on it and just blending out some more
Who am I with this look? All right, guys, so final thoughts. Um, I really liked this for the most part. Yeah, there were a couple minor struggles that I had, but overall, I like it. I like it better than these. I think the number one thing about this palette is that it's very versatile. You saw all of the looks that I got. You could definitely make many more. You could go neutral, you could go colorful, you could go half and half, you could go a little warmer. Most of this is cooler toned. You can go bold, you can go subtle. I know it's a little on the expensive side for e.l.f., but if you like these colors and you're willing to spend the $14 or less in my case, then I think this is for you. I personally did not need it. I do have colors like most of these, but hey, here we are. And hopefully me trying it out helped you make a decision on whether you should get it or not. All right, that's it for today. Hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye. See you next time.